The Little Book of Rock Painting by F. F. Chenez Back, Marissa Ronaldo, Margaret Venice, and Jeremy Fisher. <laughs> so, hopefully, I wrote down the names right, or I can read my own writing. Either way. <laughs> Um, more than 50 tips and techniques for learning to paint colorful, colorful designs and patterns on rocks and stones. So, um, you got five parts to it. Part one is getting started. So like the basic setup, your tools, um, the tips, um, some general tips and techniques, basic introduction to painting on rocks. Um, and then you got um, three parts of like categories. So you got colorful patterns, animals, and mono monochrome designs. And then part five is some templates for a few of the projects. So we've got like sunset. So like the type of rock you would need and the colors used. Um, like part one, choose a flat smooth rock with the shape you like. The rock shape, size, and texture will determine your mandala design. Wash the rock well to remove any dirt from the surface and let dry completely. Um, step two, choose a, co a color scheme and inspirational concept. Field of desert flowers, wedding bouquet, sunset sky, or humming's, hummingbird's breast. Before you begin, because the canvas is so small, choosing three or four colors with white and black as balancing colors keeps the design focused. So, and it just like takes you through this um, start to finish kind of process. And like it shows like on here. Oh, there we go. That they've used like pencil to help um, them draw in the design that they've chosen and like kind of like tips to do the Mandela design on that one. <coughs> and once in a while they'll have like practice here spots to get so you have a spot to like see where what kind of um, design you like. Fox. So You got like dandelion design for like the monochrome kind of look. Got like flower, not flower feather. So like project templates, you get that kind of um, deal with it. Um, so like very nice ideas and for a lot of it you really have to be a pre like to me a pretty decent painter and like really focused because depending on the type of um the size of the rock you're gonna have to be really to me really detailed oriented where but like some of the designs you don't really have to be um but for some of them you do um so in a way there is a slight balance of like simple to hard kind of designs not hard but um really like artist you're not a big enough type of um work so um again you do get step by step on how to do it if if you want to do like their design or something similar so And you don't get a template for every single um, project, but for a few of them you do get one, so it's helpful to do the, I guess, more advanced type of rock painting. But if you're the type of person who likes to do artwork on different types of surfaces, or who likes rocks or whatever, or who wants that like 
have something to hold type of thing. A really interesting book to have a look at and to help you with your creative process because a lot of the time like no two stones are alike but what <laughs> um yeah the little book of rock painting happy readings